as she sings this song again and while we're remembering the Lord, what he has done and what he will do. I want you to think about this great substitution that Jesus fulfilled for us and how he took our place.
He bore my pain The innocent there Nailed to the cross Wounded for my transgression Yeah, Jesus paid it all for my iniquity chastised for my peace I look upon that cross and know that it should have been me but it was Jesus our Savior of Christ it was Jesus our Savior of Christ Fulfilled. His work here was done. Three days he would rise, a bright and shining sun. But those wounds that he took for me, those wounds remained. Oh, what it cost him. Let me close with this. I've seen an awful lot of same Facebook posts today. It's like everybody shared what somebody else shared. And it was good and it was clever. I personally think I could have made it a little bit more clever. But I didn't have time. But everybody said, Friday's here, but Sunday's coming. And if I'd had time, I'd have went on every one of those posts and said, and so is Jesus. Amen. Amen. He's coming, folks. He's coming. Amen. Father, we love you. We give you thanks and praise. And God, we take great comfort in the fact that we know that if we're at home here in our bodies, here on this earth, that you are with us. And God, we take great comfort in knowing that if we are out of our bodies or away from our bodies, Lord God, that we are at home in heaven with you. So God, whether we're here or whether that we're there, we're with you. And that's where I want every one of my days spent is in your presence. So Father, I ask you to bless all your people today. May they walk in your presence. May they walk in your blessings. All the blessings, God, that you have for us good health, prosperity, victorious overcoming power, victory in Jesus every day of their lives. And we give you the thanks for it in Jesus' name. And everyone said, amen, amen. amen. God bless you. No, I love you.